All right, back to working on the Chevy again. No freaking surprise there. So I'll explain to you in a second what we did. All right, so I picked up this Chevy 1500. It's a 99 uh, Silverado. It's got the 5.3 V8 in it, um, the LS. I've been doing all kinds of stuff to it just to get it back to normal running condition. It had a whole bunch of stuff wrong with it when I got it. Um, and the most recent thing I've been chasing down is I've had low oil pressure. And at one point it dropped on me while I was driving. It used to stay at like 20, 25 while you were driving down the highway, which was very low. And then I got stuck in traffic for a few hours one day. It dropped all the way down to two. So I killed it before it, you know, started making any noise or anything like that. Let it cool down, fired it back up. I was able to get it home. Uh, so the first thing I did was change the the oil pressure sensor the oil sending unit whatever you want to call it it's got five names um i changed that out no change wasn't even wasn't even the problem so the next culprit just going through all the forums online was the uh, oil pickup tube so dropped the dropped the diff a little bit dropped the oil pan down that had a ton of crap in it so we got that all cleaned out dropped the pickup tube that had a bunch of stuff in the screen clean the screen out change the seal on that put it all back together and in the process of pulling the pan out i accidentally removed the see if i can get all this right man so many chevys have really dumb ways of naming things it's the oil filter housing assembly gasket and according to the parts store it was it's also called an oil cooler gasket i guess it's an option if you had something that needed an oil cooler on these anyway I accidentally pulled that piece off um, thinking that it needed to come off for the pan to drop. It didn't. So when I put it back on, I didn't have a new gasket. I just tried to reuse the old one and it's leaking. So ta -da! today I'm going to pull that piece back off, replace the gasket, top the oil back off, and then we can finally fire the truck up and see what changes happen with the oil pressure. So stay with me. Let's get through that. So let me show you what we're messing with here. Oh. Uh, oh. So, uh, there's your, hang on, let me turn you guys around. Have you? So there's your oil filter, right? Oil pan, drain filter, that. I can't have you, Daddy. Right here, above it. There's two bolts in it. <laughs> it's got a, got a gasket in there. I tried to reuse the old one. And it has caused me quite a leak after all the work I did of dropping the pan and doing the pickup tube and all that. So, i put all that back together. Wish me luck. All right, so here's what came off on the old one, and that's the new seal. That looks like the truck side. It's got the two the two ports on it with the two bolt holes. This is all that came off. So I'm starting to wonder. This is just a. This isn't even a a gasket. This is just like a metal, almost like a fastener retainer strip. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe I lost that. So I never even put the old gasket back on. Do I need to keep? This looks like a part I would keep. I don't know. Let me get this thing all cleaned up and then I'll look at it better. I don't want to handle it too much right now. All right, so I've come to the conclusion I don't think I'm going to reuse this little keeper. It seems like it's going to do more harm than good because this new one, you're not going to be able to see it with that thing out of focus. It's got two halves to it. It's got a uh, it's got a rubberized half and then a gasket half, and the, the truck side only needs to seal around these holes. This needs to seal around this whole port, so I think the rubberized side will seal all the way around that port nicely, and then the other side We'll seal the truck side. So, 
what do I got to lose at this point? You know, if I'm wrong, I'm out. I'm out a couple of bucks for a gasket, and I'm in the same boat I was in before. So let's uh, let's go get this thing put back on the truck. Put some more oil in it since we just lost basically everything that was still in the engine. You know, above the uh, above the height of the oil filter, which is where this sits. So I'm gonna go put this thing back together. We'll put some oil in it, fire it up, and see how bad our leaks gotten this time. All right, guys. So I messed up. I meant to time lapse the install. Um, it's just two bolts. I just put them in the side. And, uh, put some. Put some torque on them. Don't over torque it so you don't have your gasket up. Um, it's gonna be loud because the exhaust on this thing um, needs help. So it's gonna be really loud under here, but I'm gonna leave you under here to see if you can spot any more leaks. So I'm gonna bring you closer. All right, so here's your fill hole. Here's your oil filter, and the piece I replaced is just above the oil filter. So there'll be drips coming down right here into the pan when I start this thing if it's gonna drip. So let me fire it up. Let me know what you got. few days ago right after we did that too it was immediately dripping and so far nothing we'll let it run for a few minutes and take it for a ride around the block and see if any of those drips come back anywhere else but excuse me but excuse me buddy I gotta open the door excuse me this is what I'm talking about with my oil pressure it is right there at a cold start. Which, even as bad as that is, sitting right at like, just below 30 at idle, it moves up to just above 40 when you give it gas, which it would not do before. And it used to cold start at like 18 or 20 and then stay there as long as your RPMs are up on the highway. But that day I got stuck in traffic and it, and it was just stop and go idle power. I got down to two PSI. So even if the oil pressure is a little below what it should be, maybe just a, uh, you know, a tired, tired oil pump or something like that. Um, as long as it doesn't drop, I'm okay with it being a little low. As long as it doesn't drop, these things only need like 15 PSI to, to run without damaging anything. I know it's not good for it. And I'm going to get a lot of crap for saying that that's fine um I just want it to run I just want to drive my truck without it spewing oil all over the place or about to blow up on me that'd be great but it's a Chevy so <laughs> every day's a new day um I'm gonna let this run for a few minutes and then take it for a test drive and I'll give you one final update all right so we cleaned everything up took it for a test drive it appears to be holding sturdy and there's no leaks so I will uh I will 
will come back and update you more if anything else changes over the next couple of weeks while I'm driving.